How's it going guys? Today we're gonna be doing Instacart, what do you know? We have a little challenge for you guys, or for myself, I don't know why I said you. You guys aren't gonna be doing anything, but uh, yeah, today I need to make $200 in six hours, and if I don't, I'm cutting the hair. My hair has been growing for about a year and a half, and it's now the longest it's ever been, and it looks like a mop, quite frankly and I think it might be time to cut it and I figured why not make a challenge video out of this and I'm sure you guys are gonna appreciate this. But if I get to 200 today, it's not gonna happen. So I guess I, I'm hoping to be down on my luck today. I don't know, we'll see. I got to Costco a bit early today. I'm actually waiting for them to open up the air thing so I can refill my tire that's still flat. So yeah, I'll let you guys know what we get. Hopefully they come and open up these like air station things so I could go to my normal spot and wait for the drop. All right guys, so we just got the drop. I got my tires filled just in time. And yeah, we got a $40 order. It's like 17 miles. So it is a good bit of driving, but for $40, we should get this done probably in an hour and a half to get close to 30 an hour. Not too bad, um, I'll take it. It was the biggest order that I saw today, so I just took it. It's also low items, but it's just heavy, so I don't really care, it's a free workout. All right, so as you guys saw, it's a pretty heavy order, and we're delivering to um, a restaurant. I don't know if I'm able to say like which restaurant, but it's fast food and um, it's very popular, especially in the summer, if you know what I mean. This is why I like my little vest, even if it looks totally stupid. I like to wear my vest so they know who I am and it makes me look more official. It makes me look like I'm actually a delivery driver. So when they see someone walking up to their door with this, they know it's probably their delivery and not just some angry Karen wanting some more ice cream. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a minute. And it was actually at this moment where I lost 100% faith in myself. I was definitely gonna lose. All right, so uh, fun news. The GPS took me to Sonic, I can say the name now, and it was the wrong address. Like, completely off. I, don't, I have no idea why Google Maps took me to a Sonic. I'm supposed to be delivering somewhere like 15 minutes away from here. So yeah, first drop off was already screwed up. Looks like we're probably gonna begin that haircut today because we're uh, wasting some valuable time. Already, we only have five more hours to get this challenge done, and we're only gonna be at $40 here in probably 30 to 40 minutes. Our second drop off is like on the completely opposite side of town. Also, I got pretty uh, unlucky on the way there. There's a really bad car accident, and basically someone broke like a telephone pole. The whole street was closed off, so we had to drive through an apartment complex just to get around it. Then a semi truck got stuck in the apartment complex and everyone was tailgating him so he couldn't back up. And then the police officers were getting mad at everyone. And um, yeah, it was just, it was kind of entertaining. But in regards to the car accident, it looks like everyone was fine. Yeah, just stay safe driving out there, especially if you guys are doing a job like this. You guys have to have like a third sense for stupid people. All right, yeah, we got seven minute drive. I'm, I'm still bitter. I knocked on the Sonic door and everything and they're just like, staring at me just like what the heck does this kid want I'm not giving you free food all right so the first drop off went uh smooth after the whole sonic problem what's even more weird is i've delivered to these people before and google maps had the the pen right but not this time i got some even better news though the next drop off is 14 minutes away now and we're delivering to an elementary school and um I'm kind of confused because like the elementary school is probably going to be like pretty packed right now because it's a Friday, middle of the day. Ooh, scary intersection. But yeah, both of my drop-offs are just really sucky today. And you guys are probably wondering, well, why didn't you just check the instructions and the address of each delivery before you accepted it? It's pretty easy to say that, but for the most part, if you guys don't like blind swipe a batch where I'm at, you don't get anything like at all you'll make zero dollars if you do that i don't just like want to wander into an elementary school but i guess that's what i'm going to be doing today all right so you know the car accident that i was talking about earlier that's literally the truck that carried the cars off it's right there we somehow caught up to him all right guys so we just delivered 
take it all back. They're super nice. <laughs> Got a 20 minute drive back to Costco. So we're not even gonna get back till 12, which means it's like $20 an hour, which is not good at all. We're less than a fourth of the way to my goal. Might mean this hair is going. Might just be the last day. You guys have to look at this mop. The whole time I was delivering there, I was just thinking in the back of my head, there's probably some teacher looking at me through a window just telling the classroom, Make sure you guys stay in school so you don't end up like this kid delivering groceries for a living. $22, 15 miles. Not this time, Instacart, not this time. Another thing that I forgot to mention on that last drop off, there's some dude delivering DoorDash. So he was the reason I was able to find them so fast because I saw like where he went. But uh, I pull up behind him, right? Because it's like, right by the office and he just like he just stares at me he's just like like he's never seen another like gig worker in his life and he's like what there's more than just doordash there's instacart then the gps has been trying to take me on this long route to costco for some reason i'm like wait what are you doing gps like this is the faster way today's cursed guys today is literally cursed just like that another car accident that slowed me down a ton because I couldn't even like get to my exit. Another car crash blocking me from getting to where I need to be. I think today is cursed. So for today's lunch review, we have tuna salad, some bell peppers. If you guys haven't had the Costco Himalayan salt uh, potato chips, super good. Got a $26 HEB order. It was only like one mile and 19 items and like 30 units, so not too bad. And this should get us close to 70, I believe. Which isn't awful, but we're not on track to like avoid cutting my hair off. So, yeah. All right. So the order went pretty smooth. Everything was in stock, and um, it's not an apartment. I thought that I was going to be delivering to one just because of the mileage and how many apartments are over here but uh, we're actually delivering to a house, which is nice, especially after doing two businesses in a row. But yeah, it's only five minutes away and that should put us right around $70 here pretty soon by 1 p.m. So about three hours of work to get to 70. It's actually pretty good. I mean, we could change the day around pretty fast if we get a decent Costco order or something like that. So we're back at Costco and we actually have a special guest. Yeah, I had the windows down just for like 10 minutes and I look over and there's a big beetle just right there. All right, so we just took a $20 Costco order. It's just like a couple miles and only seven items. And it's actually only seven units as well. It's pretty easy and um, we're gonna get this done, get close to 90 and we're only gonna be halfway to my goal. And I think we only have like two more hours to uh, basically somehow make $110. That's definitely not happening. So we're probably gonna be uh, kissing this hair goodbye. Just kind of starting to accept my fate here. In and out of the store in 10 minutes. Drop off is pretty close too. The only downside is we are delivering to an apartment. So she didn't read my first message which makes me concerned and I don't have a gate code, so yeah. All right, so I just dropped that order off and everything went pretty smooth. It was the first floor, thankfully. And um, we did just get another $17 order. They keep getting lower and lower, but I'm okay with it just because the miles and items have been low. So for the most part, it's just been kind of driving and relaxing. So with this, we should be maybe close to 110 after this. Maybe not quite. I think after this, we might be closer to like 107, something like that. I'll see you guys whenever I have a car full of groceries. Shop that order in three minutes and we are out of there in 10 again. The delivery is probably going to take me like 15 minutes to get there and then 10 back. Actually, it's more like 10 there and 10 back. So probably finish this order in like a total of 30 minutes, just like our last order. 
So we did two small orders and we made just about like $37 or something like that. So just keep that in mind. Turnaround time is very important. Even if you aren't getting those huge orders, if you guys can get in and out of the store fast, you guys can still make those nice numbers. All right guys, so we are at 105. We have 53 minutes to make $95. It's not looking too good for my hair, guys. It's not looking good. All right, so we basically just took our last order. It was only $28, which means we have failed the challenge. This order is gonna take me more than 45 minutes and it's probably only gonna put us right around 140. So yeah, I already scheduled the hair appointment. So I'm gonna go do this order and uh, yeah, go chop off my hair that I've had for almost two years. Yikes. This is honestly terrifying, but I think it's gonna be good for me. It's time to get rid of the mop. So everyone's off work, so things are picking up in there. So checkout took like 10, 15 minutes alone and then shopping probably another 15 minutes. Looks like my first drop off is 22 minutes away and then the other drop off is right next to our house. Honestly, this isn't like a, a good order at all. Um, both the customers must have had really small tips for it to be this many miles and the $28. I take these orders because I live over that way anyway, so I'm gonna drive probably 22 miles for a $28 order, but they're miles that I need to be doing anyways to get back home and to go chop off my hair. So yeah, we're gonna go um, drop these off and then I think right after that we should be about time to go to the hairdresser. Our appointment's at 5.30 and it's four something right now, so gotta get moving and uh, yeah. All right guys, disappointing news. We only made $134 it looks like. I'm gonna refresh it, make sure that's right. So that's what we got, 134, $74 in tips, 60 from Instacart, which means that we didn't get as many tips as usual because usually our tips are like twice as much as Instacart pay, but you can never determine how much a customer is gonna tip. With that being said, I'm gonna go home, clean up, and uh, I'll see you guys at the hairdresser. <laughs> oh no, yeah. All right guys, so Barbara's over there. Say goodbye to this. All right guys, it has been done. No more hair. This is so weird for me guys. Like I've had that long hair for a very long time. And uh, yeah, now it's short because I lost a stupid Instacart challenge. Anyways, you guys better drop a like down below. I literally just cut off all my hair for you guys because I failed. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, make sure you guys subscribe for more stuff like this. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos like this in the future and trying even harder on this channel. I really appreciate every single one of you guys and I'll see you guys on the next video.